I greet you all. Um, Mwari Muatari, I want to take this opportunity to show you how you file returns in iTax. Mainly, I want to focus on the Excel sheet which you fill once you have your P9. So, once you have your P9, you open the Excel sheet. Then after opening the Excel sheet, there is the first part, part, that is part A, which has basic information. So you are going to enter the PIN, which you are filing. Then under type of return, you will choose original. Then the period. The period we are filing is for 2020, you can see that 0101-2020 to 31st 12th, 2020. Then under do you have any other income, you click yes so that it loads the other parts that you are going to file. Then after finishing that, you will have downloaded your withholding tax which you have then with that withholding under section 1.2 the part of other you feel the amount which you are paid for example there you can see this person was paid 28,038 then because you are done some calculations which I will tell you the calculations which you had done you add what we call the withholding tax itself so you can see there the withholding tax is placed under 25 the last part part that is t tax computation and it is 1753 so you take 1753 1753 with a calculator 1753 you multiply with four the answer you got for example now I'm getting 7012 you are going to go back to where you had filled the profit and the loss then you subtract subtract 7000 from 7012 which you got from the other side you subtract with 28000 Zero thirty-eight. So you will get twenty-one thousand, twenty-one thousand and twenty-six. So you will move down. You will scroll downwards. We want to balance. So the amount you get twenty-one thousand and twenty-six must be used. So you can see here. You normally we normally choose to to fill under expenses. You can fill the expenses of maybe the one for for traveling. You can see, for example, I've placed there ten. You can place even five thousand. I have placed telephone five thousand. Then again, you can move to 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 hotel, hotel and lodging. You can see ten thousand. So if we add this, we have a total of twenty thousand. So 20,000 you have finished there. You, you put an amount as far as you balance. So from 21, we are remaining with 1,026. So you can move down under the, the position of miscellaneous. You can maybe place there. You can go and place there maybe 2,000, 21, 0. 26 so you are going to place 1000 because you have placed you have used 20 above there so you can place here now 1000 1026 1026 so once you place there miscellaneous you have balanced under B then when you move to C to C now you are going to balance See, you are going to balance, but see balance sheet. You will place some value 
anywhere on the liabilities for example there are 7.2 to a place to 100 and assets are above so that it balances under assets have blessed 100 again so it balances like that so I, you use any figure I used 100 so with the filing of employed with the holding you avoid part D E1 E2 E summary up to you move to F so under F you are going to to choose to put the pin of the employer the name of the employer the gross which that person was paid then you will do some calculations here gross income from January to March if that person has pension or pays pension you place the one for January to March there so I'm showing that then you place the balance that is from April to December of the income which you placed under gross pay then if there is pension you can place there the one for April to December so it depends on the P9 then from there you will have done so you can add if you add this figure 5 179,957 plus 167,43, you will get the total which is under gross pay 740,700. Then we move further to M details. The next one is M details, which is next to F. So once you place the M, you go and choose the pin. The pin which you placed on the other side will appear. You choose it. You type the name of the employer again. So you will type the name of the employer. Then you will put again the figure which you put at the other side as gross, 74700. Then you will put the taxable pay. Taxable pay, you should get it from the P9. The payee is what is placed at B. Then to get taxable pay, you have to add the relief which that person was given. For example, this relief is 25,824, the maximum relief which was for the year 2020. Then you should have balanced this relief. We are going to place it at the last part, tax computation. So under tax computation T, you are going to, you are placed the withholding tax there, you can see, then you will move up, you will see pension, if the, the person had pension, you will put the total pension there, then you will move down, you put the relief, relief which we got balancing there was 25, 824, and it is placed there then you will see the final the final part what is balancing on the final part actually this uh, this withholding i had changed it it was supposed to be 25 27 52 that was the withholding tax in the in the original sheet so not it was supposed to be actually it was supposed to be a given figure don't remember very well but it was a given figure which will balance it will balance obviously for example if we add it 999 you will see it balancing so you will see it going behind so it means the other figure the other side is higher but now if it is negative you will have to move to the other part a that's why i wanted it to be negative but if you follow the procedure it will be zero it is rare to be positive then you if it is a positive it means KRA they owe you some money but if it is a negative that is a plus so you go to the basic details under basic details you are going to add the payment you can put M payment then you choose M PESA 